Welcome back. After learning how to find the required number of items to assemble a certain number of end items, and how to construct the assembly time chart, which was explained in the previous two videos of this series, you are ready now to make a material requirement plan. Before explaining how to create a material requirement plan, subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. The MRP can be created in the shown table which contains the following. The gross requirement is the total expected demand for an item or raw material during each time period. Scheduled receipts are orders that have been placed and are scheduled to arrive from vendors or elsewhere in the pipeline by the beginning of a period. Projected on hand is the expected amount of inventory that will be on hand at the beginning of each time period or the scheduled receipts plus available inventory from the last period. The net requirement is the actual amount needed in each time period. The plan order receipt is the quantity expected to be received by the beginning of the period in which it is shown. Here we have two options, lot for lot ordering, in which the ordered quantity equals the net requirements, and lot size ordering, in which the ordered quantity may exceed net requirements. Plan order release indicates a planned amount to order in each time period, equals plan order receipts offset by lead time. Let us solve an example. A firm that produces wood shutters and bookcases has received two orders for shutters, one for 100 shutters and one for 150 shutters. The 100 unit order is due for delivery at the start of week four of the current schedule and the 150 unit order is due for delivery at the start of week eight. Each shutter consists of two frames and four slatted wood sections. The wood sections are made by the firm, and fabrication takes one week. The frames are ordered, and the lead time is two weeks. Assembly of the shutters requires one week. There is a scheduled receipt of 70 wood sections at the beginning of week one. Determine the size and timing of planned order releases necessary to meet delivery requirements under each of these conditions. 1. Lot for lot ordering. 2. Lot size ordering with a lot size of 320 units for frames and 70 units for wood sections. The first step in solving such a problem is to construct the master schedule. To learn how to make a master schedule click the above link. It is given that 100 shutters are ordered and to be delivered at the start of week 4. So add 100 in week 4. Another 150 shutters are ordered and to be delivered at the start of week 8. So, add 150 in week 8. The second step is to create the product structure tree. We know that each shutter consists of two frames and four slatted with sections. So, the product structure tree is like this. After constructing the product structure tree, we have to calculate the number of items needed to assemble 100 and 150 shutters. For 100 shutters we need 200 frames as each shutter consists of 2 frames. And 330 wood sections are required because 4 wood sections are required for each shutter and 70 wood sections are scheduled to recede at the beginning of week 1. For the 150 shutters lot, we need 300 frames and 600 with sections. Now let us construct the assembly time chart to know when to order the required individual items. From the master schedule, 100 shutters are required for delivery at the beginning of week 4. Moreover, the assembly of the shutter takes one week which means that the assembly should be done in week 3. The assembly of the shutter needs frames with a lead time of two weeks. This means that the frame should be ordered at the beginning of week one. While the wood section that is required for the shutter assembly needs one week to be produced. So, it should be finished during week two. Similarly, for the 150 shutters that have to be delivered in week eight. Their assembly has to be finished in week seven. The order of the frames has to be released at the beginning of week five. 
and the wood section fabrication has to be done in week 6. Now all the required information is ready to make the material requirement plan. As you know, the MRP is done in such a table. We need to make three of these tables. One for the shutter itself, another for the frame, and the third for the wood sections. It is required to make the MRP in two situations. The first one is lot for lot ordering. This means that the plan order release is equal to net requirements. Let us start with the shutter. From the master schedule, we know that 100 items are required in week 4 and another 150 are required in week 8. Write these quantities in weeks 4 and 8 here. In the given information, there is no data for the shutter beginning inventory. This means that the beginning inventory is zero. So, the gross requirements are 100 at week 4 and 150 at week 8. There is no schedule receipt, as the firm produces this item, nor projected on hand, as there is no inventory. So, the net requirements are as the gross requirement of 100 shutters at week 4 and 150 at week 8. Consequently, the planned receipt is 100 shutters at week 4 and 150 shutters at week 8. We know from the assembly time chart that the shutter assembly has to be done in weeks 3 and 7. So, the plan order release of the 100 and 150 shutters has to be in weeks 3 and 7. Now let us make another table for the frame. It is known that to assemble the required lots of shutters 200 frames are required at the beginning of week 3 and another 300 frames are required at the beginning of week 7 as one shutter requires two frames. So, the gross requirements of the frames are 200 frames in week 3 and 300 frames in week 7. Since there is no scheduled receipt or inventory on hand, the net requirements are 200 frames in week 3 and another 300 in week 7. Consequently, the quantities of plan order receipts are 200 in week 3 and 300 in week 7. The frames are ordered from suppliers with a lead time of 2 weeks. This means that they have to be ordered in weeks 1 and 5. Consequently, in the MRP, the frames plan order release are 2 orders. One with 200 frames to be released at the beginning of week 1 and another with 300 frames to be released at the beginning of week 5. One more table for the wood section. It is known that to assemble the required lots of shutters 400 wood sections are required at the beginning of week 3 and another 600 wood sections are required at the beginning of week 7 as one shutter requires 4 wood sections. So, the gross requirements of the frames are 400 wood sections in week 3 and 600 wood sections in week 7. There are 70 wood section scheduled receipts at the beginning of week 1 and will be kept in inventory until week 3 when they will be used. So, the net requirements are 400 minus 70 equals 330 wood sections in week 3 and 600 wood sections in week 7. Consequently, the quantities of planned order receipts are 330 wood sections in week 3 and 600 wood sections in week 7. The wood sections are produced in-house and take one week to be finished. This means that they have to be done in weeks 2 and 6. Consequently, in the MRP, the wood section plan orders release are two orders. One with 300 wood sections to be released at the beginning of week 2 and another with 600 wood sections to be released at the beginning of week 6. Now we have the size and timing of planned order release is necessary to meet delivery requirements of 100 shutters in week 4 and another 150 shutters in week 8. This is under the lot for lot ordering condition. It is required to repeat this process again under another condition, which is lot size ordering with a lot size of 320 units for frames and 70 units for wood sections. The MRP for the final product, the shutter, is the same as the preceding state. 
The difference will be in the MRP for the frames and the wood sections. Starting with the frames, 200 frames are required at the beginning of week 3 and another 300 are required at the beginning of week 7 to start the assembly of the required shutters. Starting with the 200 lot, the net requirements are the same 200 as there is no scheduled receipt nor projected inventory. As stated in the problem, the frame's order size has to be 320 or its multiples. So, the planned order receipt at the beginning of week 3 is 320. The lead time for the frames is 2 weeks. So, the planned order release of 320 frames must be in week 1. For the first lot, 320 frames will be received at the beginning of week 3 while the required frames are 200 only. The extra 120 frames will go to the store so the projected on-hand frames in weeks 4, 5, 6, and 7 are 120. In week 7, the gross requirements are 300 and the projected on hand is 120 frames. So, the net requirements are 300 minus 120 equals 180 frames. However, the order size must be 320 frames, so the planned order receipt is 320 frames. The frames lead time is 2 weeks. So, the planned order release of 320 frames must be in week 5. In week 7, the difference between the planned order receipt and the net requirements is 320 minus 180 equal 140. This extra quantity will go to the store as projected on-hand inventory for the next period. For the wood section, the gross requirements are the same as before 400 units in week 3 and 600 units in week 7. Moreover, 70 units are planned to receipt in week 1 and will be kept in store until week 3. So, in week 3 the net requirements are 400 minus 70 equal 330. As stated in the problem, the wood section order size has to be 70 or its multiples. The nearest 70 multiple to 330 is 350. So, the planned order receipt in week 3 is 350 wood sections. The lead time for the wood sections is 1 week. So, the planned order release of 350 wood sections must be in week 2. For the first lot, 350 wood sections will be received at the beginning of week 3 while the required wood sections are 330 only. The extra 20 wood sections will go to the store. So, the projected on hand wood sections in weeks 4, 5, 6, and 7 are 20. In week 7, the gross requirements are 600 wood sections and the projected on hand is 20. So, the net requirements are 600 minus 20 equals 580 wood sections. However, the wood section order size has to be 70 or its multiples. The nearest 70 multiple to 580 is 630. So, the planned order receipt in week 7 is 630 wood sections. The wood section lead time is 1 week. So, the planned order release of 630 wood sections must be in week 6. In week 7, the difference between the planned order receipt and the net requirements is 630 minus 580 equal 50. This extra quantity will go to the store as projected on hand inventory for the next period. Now we have the size and timing of planned order releases necessary to meet delivery requirements of 100 shutters in week 4 and another 150 shutters in week 8. This is under the lot size ordering with a lot size of 320 units for frames and 70 units for wood sections. Where a lot of 320 frames must be ordered in week 1 and another lot of 320 frames must be ordered in week 5. Moreover, an order of 350 wood sections must be released in week 2 and another order of 630 wood sections must be released in week 6.
Here, materials requirements plan has been constructed under different situations. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. If you like this video, so press like and share it. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.